The insurance company doesn't want to pay you what you think your case is worth. What's the likelihood that they're going to increase their offer as your case progresses to trial? Would you like to learn the answer? Come join me as I share with you this great information. Hi, I'm Jerry Oginski. I'm a New York medical malpractice and personal injury trial lawyer practicing law here in the state of New York. The answer is they might, but then again, they might not. Every case is individual. So let's say the defense actually makes you an offer to settle the case and you decide for whatever reason that it's not sufficient with the expectation that you think that as the case progresses to trial or even goes to trial that now at some point they're going to increase the offer to try and negotiate and settle your case. Can that happen? The answer is yes, that can happen. But let me also share with you some of the things that can also happen instead. One of the things that can happen is that the defense can actually withdraw their offer. They may turn around and say, listen, if you're not taking our offer, we're taking the offer off the table. In that instance, you have no choice but to go to the jury and now ask them to compensate you and await their verdict. Another thing that can happen is that the defense can actually reduce the offer. So now when they hear that you don't want to accept their offer, now your case goes towards trial, they can turn around and say, okay, we reassess this matter. We realize that we offered too much. Now we're giving you less than what we originally offered. And then you have to decide whether or not that amount is acceptable or whether you're still going to go to trial and take a verdict. So there are many different options that can occur and you should not expect that simply because you turn down their initial offer or through negotiations you still don't accept what it is that they're offering. You should not have the expectation that as you proceed to trial or even go to trial that the settlement offer is going to increase at any particular point because it just might not and then you're going to be stuck in the predicament of having to go to a jury verdict and then take whatever the jury gives you. So why do I share this great information with you? I share it with you to give you an insight and an understanding to what goes on in a medical malpractice case, in an accident case, and even in a wrongful death matter. You know, I realize you're watching this because you probably have questions or concerns about your own particular matter. Well, if your matter happened here in New York and you do have legal questions, what I encourage you to do is pick up the phone and call me. I can answer your legal questions. This is something I do every single day and I'd love to talk to you. You can reach me at 516-487-8207 or by email at jerry, G-E-R-R-Y, at oginski-law.com. That's it for today's quick video. I'm Jerry Oginski. Have a great day.